Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to some more Super Mario Kart on the Super Nintendo. In the last episode, we took care of the Mushroom Cup with Yoshi at 100 cc's. Now we use Koopa Troopa, and we make our way towards Choco Island One. I didn't even see. I didn't even see what it was. I think it's called Choco Island. There we go. Well, back in eighth place I go, but uh, this is a very uh, this this cup is uh, I wouldn't say it's considered like very difficult at all, uh, but well in the first half of it, of it at least as you get towards the second half um, with the later levels, especially in Bowser Castle 2, um, you got to know how to, you're drifting, how, what you're doing with the drift as well. And after all my years of playing Super Mario Kart, I still haven't figured it out. And you can see that my rival is Luigi, and he can be dangerous because his special ability, as you just saw, is the ability to summon the Starman superpower at any time. He is also a very cheap bastard, and you'll see that in a later race. So, going through it very closely here. There we go, we got Koopa. Ooh, that was pretty close. We're on our final lap here of Choco Island 1. We're going to go back to lap 2. Those hurdles will make you jump over the question mark space, so you do have to press L or R to jump slightly before if you want to get an item box. And there's Donkey Kong Jr. We're not going to pass him, but we are guaranteed. We've won ourselves first place here. Koopa Troopa has some nice, a nice mellow chill type music, like, just smoke a blunt and then you're like, you're good to go or something like that, you know? Or something like you would hear if you just smoke a joint, who knows? Round 2, Ghost Valley 2, here we go. <laughs> I forgot I did that like an idiot. Okay, yeah, uh, yeah, I, I was pushing on the wrong, uh, controller stick. I had the, uh, control set on the joypad, but I'm used to the D-pad, so, uh, I just ran into it like a dope. Oh, my goodness. We got ourselves a nice little flower, or, uh, not flower, feather power up, up. I heard Luigi behind me. Like I said, he could be, like, right behind you with that, sh and he's pretty good at it with his aim, so you want to be careful. Like, so you hear that going, you better get that drifting, better get out the way until it stops or something, because, uh, there's a good chance he will hit you, hit you with it, and if he hits you with it, yeah, that's a bit of a time loss right there. Four flat. You see, I'm not necessarily drifting, I'm just letting go of the gas. Look at down below, you can see how like Luigi is on, on my ass. Oh, you heard the feather. Oh, photo finish. Barely, just barely made that. What was the time difference? Five hundredth of a second. Round three, Donut Plains two. This version of Donut Plains was not the one in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Uh, in case you were wondering, it was the Mushroom Cup uh, design that made it in. And it's like, around this section here, oh, gets smacked by a Monty Mo in the face. There's Luigi, missed with the shell, with his Starman power. But I got Donkey Kong in the back there. Hit with another Monty Mo to the face. Watch this. What the hell was 
that? We are in lap four, and now since we're back in fourth place, we gotta find a way to make ourselves a back in first. So with this Starman, we're driving along, but yeah, that Starman makes you go fast. So we got so just racing ahead of Yoshi here. Here's um, I may be wrong when I say this, but or I'll say it afterwards. But first, we gotta see if we can get ourselves a first here. There you go. Smack Luigi right in the face, you cheating bastard. Watch on the bottom screen how much Luigi rubber bands. Because this game is notorious for that crap. Look at it right now. You see, that was way too... That was way too damn fast. And I got, ourselves a, uh, got myself a free guy in the process. A cart guy in the process. Uh, it took a couple more seconds. But yeah, that's that rubber band playing in. What I was going to mention earlier was that now that... if you, I believe if you guaranteed yourself first place... I think at, in three races, you can probably score fourth place twice and you will still win overall. I may be wrong, but that's why I got the feeling where I got um, from playing this, so I don't know. We'll see. I'll see if I could spot it, recheck it after this one, but we'll, we'll, we'll just keep on moving here. Bowser's Castle 2 is where you really need to know your drift, and uh, if you don't have any coins because everyone keeps bumping into you, each time someone hits you, you just end up spinning out, and it's like each spin out is probably like a good second and a half or something like that. Those coins will be very helpful, and not only helping to obtain extra carts, but uh, yeah, you kind of need it for that purpose as well. I got a mushroom. Not much is really going to do here. There we go. Just trying to take it easy. Up uh, those friggin' thwomps. Though these thwomps will give you, will like, will probably give you the most trouble out of any Mario Kart game. I'm just saying it right now. That's my theory. That's what I'm going with it. I haven't played all of the Mario Kart game or Mario Kart games like that, especially the handheld ones. Uh, but here we go. Oh, yeah, the Thwomps are a big pain in the butt. And with Yoshi, with the Yoshi egg, nothing better. Um, <laughs> but luckily, Luigi got stuck in the wall, and we're just ahead of Yoshi now. I don't know what the hell prompted Luigi to get stuck there, but you know what? I'm, I'm taking it. I'm grateful. Whoa, that was close. Alright. We're nearing this end of the track. There we go. And we're good to go. Okay. Even watching this on playback, I thought that was the final lap for a second. <laughs> I'm an idiot. There we go. That's the true end of the race right there. I love the music. It's so very, like, very chill and relaxing. I love it. I'll have to add... I think I'll have to add six points to the end. Because you get one point for every... One point for every fourth place. Final track of the game for Flower Cup here. Mario Circuit 3. Ooh, baby. 
There we go. Yeah, this stage in particular, you have to know how to drift. And like I said, I'm still not an expert at that yet. <laughs> Nailed Peach with a shell. Take that, bitch. Definitely want to drift across and let go of the gas around that corner. It's probably up. Whoa. It's a lot better than trying to hold down on the gas and go keep it, uh, keep it up. You know, like up and down. scary thing to hear when someone's in back of you and that or Luigi or Mario's in back of you and they, they like you hear that sound because like one it's like like I said they strike you that's a whole lot of time wasted it is cheap as shit too third place currently and like an idiot, I miss with the red shell. One more drift, and I hit that. Not playing very well here. That's for damn sure. Go Koopa, go Koopa. Oh no, I'm in fifth. If I cross with fifth, I rank out. And fourth place it is. Probably still tie if you get fourth place in um, the last two. Oh well. But yep, that takes care of Flower Cup. Koopa Trooper knocks a cheap, cheap balloon, smacking the champagne bottles back and forth. And that'll do it for this episode of Super Mario Kart. So with that, I do I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Hope you have yourselves a fantabulous night. Love, peace, and chicken grease to all. Have a beautiful one.